Hello, welcome to OpenGL projects. Today we are going to show you the bouncing ball project. Uh, just compile it and, and execute the program. Uh, this is this is our bouncing ball. Uh, the ball is going up down. It's doing up and down. Let's go to the project. Uh, first we have defined a flag which will be determined uh, when it's going to the upper level so you have to stop there and it helps to come down so we are using this flag to determine that position and for the x y and z uh, position for the coordinates for the ball and on its next ne next is the update ball function which will update the position of the ball when it's going to up and it is coming down so you can see uh, we have determined the flag what is the position of the ball it's going to up or it's coming to down so and you can see uh, we can we are adding the distance to it so it's going to go up and same here we are negating it Uh, here we are displaying the ball. We use the solid sphere, okay, to display the ball. And this ball update function will display the ball, update the ball position every millisecond. Uh, rest are just the common function which you use in every OpenGL program. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, two things we will change in this now. Um, for this background so this is red background i will convert it this into green okay so, so ground can be converted so background can be converted with this uh, gl clear card so just go to zero and convert this uh, not a blue we need uh, rgb so green and yeah and now convert this blue to say some ball color to something here is the ball color say um, rg so it should be yellow and let be yellow color so we get the yellow color and we changed and one more thing i will show you you can put uh, some background behind like this uh, like a triangle which is the red color and same you can change the color of the triangle with this uh, say something like uh, cyan color okay so pink is little not cyan uh, okay and, uh, you can do more things you can okay just to uh, we will change this uh, spare size so you can see the effect of that also so see you can easily see this effect the size is grown uh, with the um, increase of this one and in the x-axis and similarly we can do this in y-axis let's go see then no okay so you can try and manipulate all these things and do hit and trial which is the best things you, you can give up uh, remove this uh, external background and keep something else whatever you want and you can make uh, the ball 3d which will look more better as well as you can try some keyboard function which will allow it to go up and allow it to go down and you can uh, try to convert this program in some in user interactive like if you be press some key it will only go to up and stop there and then if you press that some other key it will go down and it stop in there and similarly you can go for uh, this left and right side so ball should go right and left this will be good on okay thank you for watching have a nice day